Hey, welcome to another vlog. I'm just showing you my lash day because I wanted to document it before I repaint it. As much as I love this minty fresh color, it's too cool for this room. It doesn't feel cozy in here, so it's got to go. There's some boxes there because that's our new floor, which you're also having done this week. So a few home changes and I'm just gonna clear everything out before I start painting. Morning. <laughs> should I, I should just say hello, right? Because I don't know what time we're gonna be watching this. I'm just about to go to the gym, but I want to show you something really exciting that's happening downstairs. And also, we got some new bedding. Oh, and some new cupboards from Mustard Made. What do we think? So the bedroom's looking a little bit different now. It's amazing just what a few things can do and how different it looks now. I feel like with these cupboards, it actually makes the room look a little bit smaller because they're bigger than the crates. But that's not a bad thing. It's looking more like a real room in here. Um, but yeah, I want to show you the... We're halfway through. So it's day number two. <clears throat> but yeah, look at this. Checkerboard flooring. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see it when it's finished. Um, this is what the floor looks like currently. So it's all been boarded out and then there's a bit of self level on the floor. And I've also painted the lounge. Let me show that to you. I've also painted the lounge, which I will show you. I will show you the lounge when it's not so messy because there's all the stuff from the hallway in there. Um, I'm going to the gym today, obviously, and I'm going to go and get my Botox done. We're four weeks down, we're four weeks to the wedding, so it's kind of like starting to do all the wedding prep, need to bleach my teeth, <laughs> all that exciting stuff. I'm getting my hair done on Monday. Yeah, it's really close, can't believe it. I'm just gonna do my hair. I'm going to London today for my friends have their engagement party. So that should be really nice. So I'm leaving at like two. So I need to get this vlog out today. I haven't really vlogged anything. This where we had the floor done and then there was people here and stuff, so it just it all got a bit much. Um, so I'm going to fill you in on some stuff today and then I'm going to edit it before I go and hopefully get it up so hopefully you're seeing this on Sunday um, but yeah I need to sort my hair out and then this morning I'm going to film some TikToks as well just so I've got a little bit of a bulk of some videos and then head to London with George. So it's nice because he's coming with me today as well. But I'm hanging around in these Olivia Rubin pajamas, which are pure silk, and they feel amazing. I am loving them. So I have been out this morning and walked Sunday, but I got I thought, oh, I've put these on while I'm getting ready. And the pattern is so cute. But yeah, I get a lot of questions about what I use to curl my hair. Um, and you have to think, um, this morning. Very conscious of that. Um, yeah, so I use these. Just find that it works really well for me and I like this curl. I do have in the loft a wand, which I have a small one which is good when my hair is shorter um, but I do have a bigger one actually which I could pull out but I feel like I don't know how good they are for your hair they're quite old so I don't know if it would be that safe to use them 
I don't use any clips when I'm doing this, which isn't really that sensible, but I kind of just do the bits that I can see. Because I want it to look long at the back anyway, so I don't want the back to be like uber curly or anything. I'm getting my hair done on Monday actually. I think I'm going to get some lighter pieces put in it. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to Hersh Hershians. Hershians in London. The salon is stunning. I went there for a patch test. It's so beautiful in there. So I'm really looking forward to that. But I just don't want to damage my hair, but then I don't want my grey hair to be really obvious. But then I don't want to damage my hair by adding loads of lighter bits to it, so. And obviously it's getting close to the wedding now, so I don't want to do anything too drastic and then not like it or not look like myself and regret it on the day. And look back and be like, oh. I've seen a couple of people recently that have gone a bit blonder and... I don't think it suits them as much. I know it doesn't suit me too much to be too light. But. This grey hair. There's so much of it. I guess it's because my hair's so dark. You just really notice it. I'm so excited to show you the floor. I can't even tell you how in love with it we are. We just, we're so happy. It was such a risk going for the blue checkerboard. Uh, but I think it's paid off. And I sent a picture to my mum and dad and they love it too as well, so. Oh, oh I've got this bit stuck. Yeah, I could do my hair, obviously, in my dressing room, but it's a bit messy in there because there's lots of boxes, so I didn't want to... There was nowhere really nice that I wanted to sit, so I thought I'd come in here and do it and chat to you. I feel like the weather just hasn't really got that warm. Like, it's warm-ish. But, you know, you're still debating whether you need a coat or not, like... I mean, I do really feel the cold. Oh, that's the wrong way. Look at what I'm doing. I do really feel the cold, but I don't know. I'm just like, when is summer going to begin, please? I was looking at place names, place cards, because we're not really doing much for the wedding in terms of like, you know, extra bits, but I do want place cards. And I've been looking at Papier, and there's these Matilda Goad. I love Matilda Goad and there's Matilda Goad place cards. They're so cute and they're red and pink, which is like my favorite color combination ever. So I think I'm gonna go for those. And the good thing is you can get them pre-printed so I don't have to write them out either. So they'll have everyone's names on them. That is really exciting. It's funny in my hair because I really don't, it gets quite warm tones in it when it goes from the lighter bits when the sun bleaches it. And when I was younger, like 16, 17, I always had, was dyeing my hair red. I was obsessed with red hair. Uh, so now when I see these warm tones, it just reminds me of being 16 and I'm like, ugh, it's gross. <laughs> I've seen lots of trends on TikTok at the moment of like, you know, talking to your younger self and things. And I have a lot to be grateful for, for my 16 year old self. I'm not dissing her too much because I think if I hadn't been so experimental, I wouldn't have got to where I am now with like my style and my love and fashion and stuff. And I think you have to get it wrong to get it right and build up my confidence to just wear what I wanted. So I am grateful to her, but I wouldn't wear those outfits again. Let's just sort of put it there. <laughs> just put it that way. 
but at least I didn't play it safe the whole time. Hair is done. Would you like a house tour first, or would you like to see some clothes and fashion bits? I mean, you can't answer me, so I'm going to decide for you. I think we'll do, let's do house bits first. I'm going to check it all in order, obviously, put my best foot forward, and then I'm going to show you around. Here it is. And then in the lounge, so I've painted this, but I still have the ceiling to do, which I know is the wrong way around, but the paint was discont was out of stock. So I've still got the ceiling to paint, but I am so happy with this color. I'm so glad that I changed it. It just feels so much cozier in here. It's just, it feels really Mediterranean and really pinky and it's just so cozy and lovely and we love being in here now it's just amazing I'm just so I'm so chuffed and I like that the blue on the door like matches the stuff I'll just show you the door God, there's a lot of paint there on the floor um yeah and I love this combination of the blue against the pinky beige it's just so nice that blue is just gorgeous and I'm amazed at the paint because it took two coats to cover that green I thought it was going to be about four or something but yeah it only took two coats to cover that green so that's just I'm super impressed I love Lick I go on about them all the time but that's why it's just so easy it just makes my life so much easier um, other updates, we've got these little fluffy cushions, which, I mean, that's black up there, but got these little fluffy cushions from made.com, which Sunday thinks is an animal, so it's quite funny. But yeah, really, really chuffed, and I feel like the whole, the house downstairs now feels a bit more, there's a bit more of a flow. It's more like one thing. Yeah, I was just really happy with it. Let me know what you think. Is it to your taste? I know maybe a checkerboard floor isn't what everyone would pick, but we love it. Um, if you are waiting for your hair color to be, hair to be colored at any point and you just want to get rid of like, if you can see gray hair on the parting, then I use this product, Magic Retouch, and it's really good for in between. And um, you can just spray that on your roots. And it's like magic, it's like makeup for your hair. It's really good. And it doesn't like stain or anything. Like once you, once it dries in and then. I tend to put like my dressing gown or something over the front of me if I'm wearing something so that just in case I do get any splashes, but. I think it should normally it's all right yes yeah, so I do this and I put it on because let's be honest this dressing gown has seen better days And then voila, we are done. Hey, I'm back, I'm dressed. Welcome to my little fashion show. 
Um, so the first dress that I wanted to show you was this Atlanta dress from Sleeper. I've wanted on these dresses for so long and I really love this colour. It's just so nice and I'm trying to buy things because I'm thinking about my holiday because we're going to Lisbon. Um, so I'm kind of thinking of stuff for that. Well, it's not a holiday, it's a honeymoon. Um, so I'm buying with that in mind. But I obviously want stuff that I'm going to wear here in the UK. I don't want to just take a load of clothes on holiday. Wear them once and then never again. Um, also, I got this in the sale. I got this from Coggles. Uh, and it was like way cheaper than anywhere else online and I used my discount code because I've got a code I think it's Lindsay15 so you can use that too if you want to I'll put it in the notes um, but yeah I also got this little bag in the sale in the shrimp sale because I felt like with this uh, it's quite summery with like because it's knit it's summery and wintry which is good because it's knitted and the pattern is quite summery but then it also will just fold up into into my case if i need it to so i think that's really good and it'll it, the colors will just go with all my outfits and stuff so i like i'm really impressed with this i used it the other night and yeah it's good it's a good size it's nice and practical so that is the first thing I'm, gonna, I'm moving you down a bit because we're going to talk shoes. So I went on ASOS and I was looking for some black clogs and I came across these which I really, really like them. Um, I'm going to try them on now. You still can't see my feet, can you? just move you down so I just think these are very very me very chunky um, I'm just trying to see how how easy they are to walk in and whether they would be painful or not but I really like these I'm really into mules at the moment I just think these are so great, but I don't know if I should eat them or not. Uh, I will show you the others that I've got. So that's the first pair. So this is pair number two and they're more of your traditional style clogs so let's try these on mm. i really like these on but they feel a bit small i think my foot is hanging over the back of them a bit so that's not very good and they're all wood inside so i feel like after a while they might get a bit uncomfortable to stand on yeah, if these were like a little bit longer, they'd be great. The only thing I'm not sure about as well is the metal hardware because it's not really in my... I don't really wear that kind of thing in my wardrobe. I think it kind of clashes a bit too much with all my pastel colours. All my batteries running out, but this is the dress. It is a petite one, so... Maybe it's a bit, small, bit short for me, really. But I did want something that was kind of like a bit, a bit sassy, a bit Barbie. Ugh. It's got a mark on the bum, though. What do we think? And then we have this. And then we have this Olivia Rubin dress, which I'm also going to take on holiday with me. So I wore this to the event that she had the other night. And um, this is so, so lovely. So I'm going to take this on holiday with me, definitely. 
Um, but the reason that like this whole shoe kind of thing happened was because I wore this dress and I was like, I don't really have any shoes that are comfortable to walk around in, sort of flat shoes, but then also quite pretty, like all my shoes are quite chunky. And um, for that event, I was like, I kind of wanted something a bit more dainty, but still feels like me. So I decided to get these, which are beautiful. Look at that, look at that color, incredible. And they're so comfortable, they feel amazing on. And they're obviously perfect for holiday too, uh, but I really like the contrast of the pink and the blue. My friend Rio has these and I was like, oh, are they comfortable? Are they worth it? And she was like, yeah, they are comfortable. She hasn't done great lengths in them, but she said they're comfortable. So I was like, okay, <laughs> that's all I need to hear. I'm getting them. Um, so yeah, I think that's like everything I have to show you. Still need to decide about the Topshop shoes. I really like them. I do really, really like them. Um, but I think the dress, no, because unless something is perfect, I'm not going to keep it. So the dress is definitely going to go back. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to stop bending down now. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. And if it was a little bit bitty, then <laughs> apologies for that. But, and if it became in, turned into like a bit of a show and tell, but I think, you know, trying to buy for long-term and buy for holiday is quite tricky. So I just wanted to like sort of talk through the process and stuff of why I've got things and what I think is worth it and what I don't think is worth it. And I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.